Alrighty. Hi, my name is Rhonda, and I'm here to show you one more reason why I like Screencast-O-Matic. Screencast-O-Matic is a um, online web tool, a screen recorder that is free, or you can pay like $15 for a pro version, which gives you a few more bells and whistles, and that $15 is for a year. But I usually use the free version, and uh, basically what it does is it allows you to record your screen for 15 minutes. And then you can upload it to YouTube or download it to your computer. And um, I usually upload to YouTube. It works on Macs and PCs. Alrighty, so one of, like I said, the reason, one of the reasons why I'm showing you how to use it today is because I've been taking a lot of online classes. And the one thing that I've noticed is that um, when you take an online class, one of the requests from your instructor is usually to provide a PowerPoint presentation with your recorded audio and share it with your cast, uh, with your classmates or your instructor. So usually that becomes a problem. Um, students might not know how to upload it. They might mess up the audio recording or the people who are trying to view it have older computers. They don't have all their um, software updates and it becomes quite a bit of a challenge. And what I've noticed is that people seem to be able to watch YouTube with no problem. So I like to use Screencast-O-Matic to record my PowerPoint presentations and then provide a link to my instructor and to my classmates. So this is how I did it. This is how I do it. All right, so I got Screencast-O-Matic. If you look up here, it's www.screencast-o-matic.com um, screen underscore recorder. You can also do a search in Google for it. All right, and so what I'll do is I'll pull up my PowerPoint and I will already have it ready and I have the audio recorded as well. So what I do is I record the PowerPoint presentation with audio the way I normally would when I'm making a PowerPoint presentation with audio. I do add a slide to the front that's a blank and my presentation because it's recorded with audio automatically advances. And then once in a while, and I didn't do it this time, I'll add a blank slide at the, the end, but this time I have a, re, a references that stays um, up for the end of the presentation. All right, so anyway, I'll pull up Screencast-O-Matic, and I'll hit Start Recording. It will give a countdown of about three seconds, and during those three seconds, I will pull up my PowerPoint and make sure it's ready to go, and I'll hit Slideshow. So... Now you should see part of the screen. And what you'll have to do also, and I can't really show you with this because I'm recording with Screencast-O-Matic, is it does um, give you options on what part of the screen you want to record. So I'm not recording the whole presentation. I was doing the widescreen recording, so you're just missing the bottom of my slide. And then I'll advance my slide, my first slide, when I'm ready. I usually count to about five seconds, and then I'll start the recording, the PowerPoint presentation. Hello, my name is Rhonda Waldrop Ng. I work with Ng Aviation Promotions, and am I here today to share basic ideas on how to improve? All right, and so that's how I'll do it, and I'll let the presentation run for its duration, and I'll try to remember to be quiet while it's recording, um, because the Screencast-O-Matic is not only recording the audio that's on my PowerPoint, but it's also recording the sounds that are near me right now. So if my dog is making noises, um, it will record those those sounds. Anyway, so once I'm done, there's a little button that you can't see right now that will say done. I can mm. pause it if I mess if I have to stop for a second. Uh, but I'll hit done, and then it will ask me, do what do I want to do with the press with the video? Do I want to upload it to YouTube? Do I want to save it to Screencast-O-Matic, or do I want to download it? And I'll usually say I want to send it to YouTube. And so when I send it to YouTube, it will upload into my video manager spot and then I'll end up with a recent upload like this and so if I click on it this is the presentation I had just recently done to show some people what it would look like as a demo and this is the same presentation you just saw it's going to go a little slower because I got so many programs running including Screencast-O-Matic so um, I know someone who worked as an escort have a, uh, really? commercial here Lovely. Class time. And 
There you go. So you'll see my presentation one more time. Hi, my name is Rhonda Waldrop. And this is through YouTube. I work with Ing Aviation Promotions. And, I'm and we're going to go ahead and stop it. Ideas on how to improve. And so there it is. It's on my um, YouTube site. It is my actual PowerPoint presentation. I can expand it if I want. I can change, um, I can play it in a larger player. Watch it later. So you can do everything. And the good thing about this is instructors and uh, classmates might want to go to a certain spot and then they might want to go back and review it one more time. So the good news is the instructor can keep going playing this over and over um, to listen for cues or refresh your memory on something that she thought or he thought that you said or didn't say. It works great. Uh, I recommend it if you think that you have problems and of course make sure that your instructor and your classmates are, are game to do it as well. And that's why another reason why I like Screencast-O-Matic. Thank you. Bye-bye.